Can you go mental like him? Instead of holding so many notes, maybe just... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're, uh, here we are in Tottenham, um, in an amazing like warehouse kind of place, and uh, I'm here with Transmitter uh, to, do, to play some songs and even try out a cover. So the, uh, the cover I've chosen um, is a song by Alt-J, and it's called Left Hand Free. We had to do some rehearsing because it's uh, we're, we're brand new to it. These guys, that song, never. Yeah, just been doing a load of rehearsing and uh, seeing if we know what we're doing. So, like. Hey, shady baby, I'm hot like a prodigal son. I wasn't listening to loads of Alt J, but I was always kind of into it and like appreciated it. I don't do covers that often, but um, then I heard them play this song on TV and uh, had to cover it. It's got a killer riff, and it's just a really cool song. Um, I'm a guitar player, so I wanted to have a go. I haven't been using too many other sounds other than the things that we're actually playing. We just want to play it down live and get it down, everything in the room together. Because that's, you know, that's how we play. Jerry, I want it to kind of smolder. I just want to smolder throughout. You know, less, less is more. Yeah, and then, so that when we all go, left dance free. Any, any bigger dynamics come from things like that. We're playing like, as we would in a rehearsal space, but this is just like one of the coolest rehearsal spaces around. So after that, it's like a way better version of a lot of the stuff you rehearse in, because rehearsal rooms have got loads of carpets and they're all really like soundproof and stuff. But this is the greatest thing in the world. And there, and there, just go clicks. Yeah, just a single. It's all just like nice hard edges and everything just reverberates around the room and we're in a big space. It's always fun to play music in, in that kind of room. Can you go mental like him? Instead of holding so many notes, maybe just... Jack's a killer keys player. He's, uh, you know, he's taking some of the sounds that um, we reckon Alt-J were using. We're kind of guessing a little bit because it's a cover. Um, and, uh, and then he's thrown in a few of his own little things as well. I guess it's very him. It's very us. It's very me, you know, just sort of borrow and, and create new stuff. I mean, I was even thinking about... I was gonna like. I made a few changes, I suppose, uh, but I did kind of love what I what I saw them do on TV, and I just wanted to, like I say, I love the riff, and I just wanted to try and grab it with my own little flavour on it, you know. You know what though? Should we do? I don't want to take this away that's, from you. That's, yeah, that's but cool. I wonder if if it's a guitar thing, then it's not as copying of. If you do a guitar solo. Oh, sorry, I sound like a douchebag. I sound like no, such a dick. I, I love. I love that idea. Let's go. <laughs> I, oh, if I have to. If I, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest ways to play riffs is when you get to drop strings down and play things lower and uh, just get nice, like, dark tones. And um, this is a hollow body guitar that I'm playing. It's electric, but uh, the hollow body ones breathe a little better sometimes. So um, just get a big, bitey kind of sound out of it. It's uh, it's pretty true to the original, but um, it's it's me. Pick up a little bit of money, my 